Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this recording, we'll take a look at how we create the operation for an open pocket. If we take a look at this part as shown over here, you can see that this area is a pocket that needs to be actually entered or can be entered actually from the outside where this is considered an open pocket. To define an open pocket, the following is done. We'll start by going into our two and a half the operation of pocket, and then we'll choose the option of creating a geometry. Now creating the geometry is done like any other chain geometry by picking one edge and then closing it off by automatic constant Z. Now at this point, the chain is like a regular chain for any pocket and everything here, as far as it knows, it's closed. So we have to tell this that it's an open chain. The way we do that is very simple. Right click in the chain list on the chain itself and we have the option of mark open edges. By mark open edges, every single time I touch an edge, say this one, and I'll touch this one, and I'll touch this one, these three edges, those are now marked as open edges and you can see them that they've changed also to a different color. I'll just accept that. And now it has a rule of an open pocket. So now the program knows that it can actually come in from the outside. We'll choose a tool. In this particular case, I'll just use a tool that I have over here of 16 millimeters. And of course we have our levels. We go down to our proper level over here. And then of course we have our technology. Now in our technology, since we've created an open pocket, we automatically get a tab here that says open pocket. And when we have this tab, we have options specifically made for open pockets, such as if we want to approach from the outside, which is very likely we do, would like to approach from the outside, we just tell it approach from outside. We can also even use a profile strategy where it works just like an open profile. Let's take a look at both of the toolpaths in both cases. We'll first simulate the first toolpaths. And as you can see, the tool will come from the outside, working its way in, and then working like a pocket on the part itself. Note, however, also that since we marked as an open edge, it knows to go past that edge as well. Now, the other way we can work on this is using what we call the use profile strategy. When I use a profile strategy, it actually works like offset towards those walls. I'll just do this one step at a time. You'll see the tool go in again from the outside and working its way on each wall, just like a regular profile with a clear offset until it finishes that entire pocket. Now, let's go back in time a little and remember how we used to work in open pockets. The way we used to work in open pockets was we used to make a sketch as shown over here. And we used to make the sketch in a way that the open side of the sketch would be past the edge over here. This way the tool will actually be able to go past this line over here. Also, if we wanted then to approach from the outside, you would have to pick a point on the outside and then it will go actually through that wall, which is actually a violation of a real pocket, but it went through that wall. Now, today, any pocket that is a closed pocket cannot be approached from the outside. It can only be worked on from the inside. So if you still want to work with a sketch, you can work with a sketch, but you have to have this sketch marked as an open edge. So if you have old operations with sketches, you just have to right click in the sketch area as shown over here. I'll just change the operation to a different geometry using the sketch. And in this particular case, I'll close this off. And if I want to work with the sketch approaching from the outside, I would have to just right click and tell it that it's an open edge by marking the old open edge as this line over there. Then it will automatically come in from the outside. If it's not marked as open, it has a rule of a closed pocket and a closed pocket 
cannot be approached from the outside as this ruins a pocket. This is not a what a pocket is. A closed pocket is a closed pocket. Now let's take a look at a different situation. What if we have an area such as this one over here where it's open on all sides but it has an island in the middle. Again we'll use a regular pocket operation and we'll create our geometry exactly the way we did it before. We'll use the outside chain over here and the inside chain over here. Now the first chain, since it's an open area and all edges are open, I right click over here and I can tell it mark chain as open as that entire chain is open. Now all I have to do is choose my tool. We have our depth and we have our technology. In our technology, again, we have the option of open pocket. If I want, I can tell it to approach from the outside. And we've actually made it work very efficient if I were to use profile strategy. Let's use a profile strategy and see exactly what happens. You'll note that the tool will go down, clean the corners first, and then work around towards the island itself. Taking a look from the top view, you can see the exact tool pass as it cleaned off the corners and then worked around the part itself, always covering the outside edge of the pocket itself. Now, one last scenario. What happens if we want to mill out this area over here using the pocket operation? And when doing so, I'd actually like to do the whole thing from the outside. Well, again, we can use the pocket operation. If we were to go into this operation itself, I've created a geometry over here of that edge where the entire chain is marked as an open edge. The tool is chosen as before, and in my technology, I have my open pocket approach from outside, and I don't even have to use profile strategy. What will happen is it'll automatically work from the outside going in towards the middle. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website, www.solidcam.com, and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on Solid Camp Professor. Take care and have a nice day.